Alright, alright. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out, prophesy the downfall of this wicked and sinful kingdom. We also out here, also out here, to tell our people, you blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and indigenous uh, natives from North Central and South America, that you are the two chosen people of God. You are the Israelites according to biblical prophecy. We are here to tell our people to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are here to tell our people to get right with the Lord before he bring his wrath and his judgment upon the planet earth because we're living in the last days. We're living in the end of days. We are living in the time of the Lord's return. We are living in a time of prophecies coming alive, coming to pass. And we are the prophets out here to tell you what's going to happen before it happens. Give me a second, I'm just fit here. Because the Lord, he sent his messages out here to tell you what's the good news. The good news is that his son died for your sins starting with the elect of these people all right you have access to the father through the son and if you do not believe upon the son of the most high if you do not keep the commandments of the heavenly father you're going to perish in this great wrath and judgment that's going to come upon the face of the earth yeah all right this is second Ezra's 15 and what behold Speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So the Lord commanded us to speak to his people who are the Israelites, right? Which the Israelites today consist of blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Mexicans. You make up the 12, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We ought to speak to you the words of prophecy. So while we out here screaming at the top of our lungs, we're giving you the prophecies of the Lord. What does the prophecy mean? Pro meaning for uh, before, for sign meaning to speak or say. We are telling you things that's going to happen on the earth before it happens. Go ahead. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Which you put in our mouths. These are not our own words. We, these are the words of the Lord. These are the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son. We're not out here to give you our opinions. We're not out here to give you our feelings. We're out here to tell you what the Lord expects and what the Lord is going to do. Okay. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. This is the paper. This is the paper that the words of the Lord are written in. The Bible. The Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocrypha, which was a part of the Bible before the Bible Destruction Group, which was um, Jesuit priests, took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. All right. Bible Destruction Group. Bible Destruction When you go back to the original King James 11, uh, 1611 Bible, the Apocrypha was a part of it. But after the King James Version of 1611, this book was taken out of it. And it was for a reason. Because it exposes who is the wicked. Who is Esau and Edom. 
Who are the ten tribes? The northern kingdom. It has a lot of truth in it. Again. Fear not the imaginations against thee. So the Lord gave us a heads up. Fear not the imaginations against thee. So there's going to be people that's going to have opinions. There's going to be people that has going to have different perspectives from the truth, from the gospel, from the good news. So the Lord said, don't worry about other people's perspectives. Don't worry about other people's opinions. Fear not, God. Yeah. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Let not the incredulity. When you look up the word incredulity, it means unbelief. So he says, let not the unbelievers trouble you. So what? They don't care what God says. So what? They don't think serving God is cool or is boring or is not fun or is too strict. So what if they don't want to follow God's ways? Don't listen to them. Don't worry about them. You follow God's ways. You get right with God. If they don't want to get right with God, that's between them and the Lord. But you have to get right with God. You have to do what's right for your soul. So don't worry about the unbelievers, okay? Yep. That speak against me. That's going to speak against you. Because that's what unbelievers do. Unbelievers speak against the believers of God. The people that don't believe in God try to shame people that believe in God. Don't worry about the shame tactics. Don't worry about the smear campaigns. You continue believing in the Lord. You continue doing what's right according to what the Lord told you to do. Don't worry about what the gang say is in the unbelievers say. Yeah. Yeah. For all their unfaithful for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So all the unbelievers, the ones that don't believe in God, the ones that don't follow after God's ways, they're going to die in their unbelief. They're going to die in their unfaithfulness. They're going to receive their rewards for not following after God. If they choose a life for not following God, you're going to get your reward, which is death. And the ones that believe on God and follow what God told them to do, you will be rewarded for your righteousness. You will be rewarded for your faithfulness. Okay. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. So the Lord told us he was going to bring plagues. Just like during the time of Egypt. Before the Lord delivered the Israelites out of Egypt, he brought plagues upon Egypt. So God is going to bring plagues upon America. Because this is the new Egypt. And guess what? Just like the Israelites was in bondage in Egypt, the Israelites today are in bondage in America. So just like God brought plagues upon Egypt, God is going to bring plagues upon America. Okay. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Which is all tools in the arsenals of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Wickedness which wickedness is transgressing the laws of the Most High. Give me 1 John 3 and 4, please. Okay. This is 1 John 3 and 4. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. All right? So now we learn that sin means the breaking of the law. What law are we talking about? The law as it's found in the Bible. 
you know that as the law of Moses, but it's called the Torah, which was the Lord's that God gave the Israelites. All right, go back to second message, please. When you look up this word wickedness, it says the quality of being evil or morally wrong. So God said that morally wrong has polluted the whole earth. God said the quality of being evil has polluted the whole earth. Go ahead. This is 2 Exodus 15 and 5. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, and what was your hurtful works to put the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans into captivity? All right, to to fully to fully take peace from the planet Earth. You defiled the Earth. You put a, a, a fluoride in the water. You spray chemtrails in the air. You genetically modify foods. Your hurtful works are fulfilled, man. You are destroying the planet Earth. You are destroying the people on the planet Earth. And the Lord is angry with you, man. Yeah. Um, this is Psalms 83, verses 3 and 4. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have taken crafty counsel. That's the global elite. That's your government. They plan all these pandemics, pandemics. All right. They plan all these cyber attacks. The security, I mean, um, the threat to security. They plan all these things. They have think tanks, all right? They have think tanks and they conjure up all these plans to get you people to follow whatever agendas they want you to follow, such as the mandation. That was all orchestrated. Okay. So Psalms 83 and 4, they have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let, let us cut them off from being a nation. It's talking to you Israelites. Because that is the agenda of the global elite. They want to exterminate you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They want to chip the whole planet Earth. They want everybody to be microchipped. That is the plan. To fuse humans with technology. God. They have said, come and let us cut them off. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They want to erase our people, man. They want to exterminate us. As nothing, nothing has changed from slavery, man. The ones that are in power are still in power. The ones that are making the rules are still in power. Those are the descendants of those slave masters from back then. And they're not willingly going to give up their power. Okay. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Look at now it's gonna go into the um the names. The tabernacles of Edom. Which is the Caucasian race. Edom is the progenitor of the Caucasian race. Uh, Alright, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. Ishmaelites are you so-called Arabs. Ishmael is the progenitor of the Arab nations. 
of Moab and the Hagarines. Moab is the progenitor of the Chinese nations. All these nations are in league. All these nations are in alliance. Okay. Gabal and Ammon and Amalek. Japanese and the 1948ers. Yeah. The Philistines. The Hamites. With the inhabitants of Tyre. 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 Which is another Hamitic nation. The so called Africans. I sir. Also is joined with them. Another Hamitic nation. Yeah. They have hoping the children of Lot. Shalom. All these heathen nations, all these nations that are not Israel, are joined together to make sure that you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans never find out who you are. You never find out your true identity. You never find out who your God is. Go back to second. To never find out who your God is. To never learn your power. Because your power is in this book. Your power is in your faith in the Heavenly Father and His Son. And as long as you stay disconnected from the Heavenly Father and His Son, you will be disconnected from your power source. Yeah. Um, this is 2nd Ezra 15 and 7. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. The Lord is not going to hold back concerning all the wickedness that goes on on the planet Earth. Okay? Which they profet, which they profanely commit. Yeah, you proudly, you proudly be wicked. You don't hide wickedness no more. You openly are wicked. You openly into witchcraft. You're openly into Satanism. You're openly op into uh, homosexuality. It's not a shame to do these things anymore. That's how you know that America is Babylon the Great. Or America is that great whore that set up upon many waters. Okay. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Mm -hmm. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, the, 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 the innocent cries on to the Lord. Every time a black life, Latino life, Native American life is lost, that blood cries on to the Lord. The Israelite's blood cries on to the Lord. Asking how long? When will you revenge our blood, man? Every time a black, Latino, Native American life is lost in America, when it goes back into heaven, it cries unto the Lord. Yeah. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yeah, the Lord is going to receive all the innocent blood from among them. I don't want my the Lord is going to revenge for all his people dying, man. And what nation is going to have to pay for that? The Caucasian race. The house of Esau and Edom. And ultimately, America. America as a nation is going to have to pay for the Israelites' blood being spilled upon this land. The countless lives that has been lost in America, man. Okay. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. The Lord's people are led as a flock to the slaughter. Just like cows, chickens, all right, goats. Some of these animals go to the slaughterhouse to get to get butchered and put in a, in, in, the, in the supermarkets. That's how the Lord references people dying in America, man. His people die just like slaughtered animals. And no one cares. 
No one bats an eye when a black, Latino, or Native American dies in the land of America. Because we're not valued like human beings. We're not valued in this land. Yeah. Yeah. Behold. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. The Lord is not going to suffer us to dwell to uh, dwell in the land of Egypt. Because the Lord is going to save us from this land. Just like he saved us from old Egypt. Just like the Lord saved us from the house of Pharaoh in old Egypt, the Lord is going to save us from America, the new Egypt. This is Egypt all over again. And you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Hispanics, you are in bondage. You are in hardcore slavery, man. Give me that, Jeremiah 16, 15. Uh, no, not that one. So Jeremiah 16, 15. Jeremiah 16 and, um, and 15. What the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Give me 13. All right, um, 16, 13? Yeah, on down. All right, this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 16 and 13. Therefore will I cast you out of this Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not. The Lord is going to cast us out of the land of Israel because that's where we're from. We're from the Middle East. But because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father, He punished us by kicking us out the land. Go ahead. Neither ye nor your fathers, and therefore neither. Ye know your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night. And that's what our people are doing here in the land of America. You serve, you serve uh, 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 the cobblestone. You serve that wooden cross. You serve that de despicable image of so-called Jesus Christ. All right. You serve Buddha. You serve Krishna. You serve every other God under the sun, but the God of the heavens and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That shows you that you are the Israelites today. Okay. Where I will not show, where I will not show you, where I will not show you favor. That's it. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So there's going to come a time period where it's no longer going to be said, the Lord delivered us out of Egypt, which goes to show that this prophecy is true because every Easter, right, Every the so-called pagan holiday known as Easter, because Easter is not in the Bible. God didn't give us a holiday called Easter. That holiday is Passover. That holy day is Passover. But anyway, during the time of so-called pagan Easter, you always play the movie The Ten Commandments. Why during Good Friday? And so-called Easter, you play the movie The Ten Commandments. Because you are remembering when the Lord delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. That's happening in 2024. Every year, you play the Ten Commandments on um, our national TV. So the scriptures say, no longer is going to be said, the Heavenly Father delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. But go ahead. All right. But the Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel from the land of the north 
this is this is the prophecy that we live in that's about to come to pass now. This prophecy is about to come to pass in a year, in the years to come, the days to come. The Lord liveth that delivered the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans out of the land of the north. What land of the north that's talking about? North America. The Heavenly Father is going to deliver the Israelites out of North America. Go ahead. But the Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel from the land of the north. North America. God is going to deliver our people out of this God forsaken land. America is a God forsaken land filled with abominations and wickedness. The Lord is going to deliver us from this place. Go ahead. And from all the lands whether he had driven them. And all the lands where he had driven us. So the major deliverance is going to be here from America. Known as, also known as Babylon the Great. But also the Lord is going to deliver us everywhere under the sun. The four corners of the earth where we were scattered. And and I will bring and I will bring them again in their land that I gave unto their fathers. And I will bring them again into the land where I gave their fathers. What fathers are that? The fathers of the promise. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He promised Abraham the land of Canaan. So the Lord is going to give us the land of Canaan again. But first. The land of Canaan has to be destroyed. All right. When America is being destroyed, the land of Israel will be destroyed right along with it. Because there's nothing but wickedness going on in the land of Israel as well. The land of Israel has become a war zone. Soon America will be a war zone. God. Behold. I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Yeah, the Lord is going to send for many fishers. Who are the fishers? We are the fishers. All right? Give me that. And God will shine so Peter. I'll make the fishers a myth. My God. You want me to do that? If you can, I don't think I'm going to do that. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. When you pull out. All right, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. Alright. This is um Matthew 4 and 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Yeah, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. So the Lord told Peter and Andrew, if you follow after him, you ain't got to worry about fishing for actual fish. I'm gonna have you fish his elect. Alright? And we're doing the same thing that Peter and Andrew was doing. We're fishing for the Lord's elect. We're, out, we're not out here for the masses. We're not out here for the numbers. We out here for the Lord's elect. We're out here for the few good men. We don't care about the majority. We only out here for the Lord's elect, his lambs, the sheep that hear his voice. If you don't hear this voice, you're not the Lord's lambs. We're not concerned about you. Go back to Jeremiah 6, 6, 6, 6. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I pray for them. Who's the eye? The eye is talking about the Messiah, who the world ignorantly called Jesus the Christ. All right? The Messiah prays for them. Who are the them? The elect. His lambs, his sheep, the fold, the ones that's in his barnyard, the ones that's in his house. That's who he prays for. He doesn't pray for the world. The Messiah doesn't care about the world. He doesn't love the world. That is a misconception that your pastors and your bishops and your rabbis tell you. God doesn't love the world. 
The Messiah doesn't love the world. John 17 and 9. John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. This is from the Bible. That's written in red letters. So that's coming out of the mouth of the Messiah himself. He says, I pray for his land. I pray for my sheep. I don't pray for the world. So the Lord isn't praying for everybody. He's only praying for the elect. <coughs> but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Again, I pray for the ones that the Heavenly Father gave the Messiah. He's not praying for everybody. There's some people that's past helping. You can't help everybody. There's some people that's past helping. You just got to let them go. And that's the majority of people. Because the majority of people is walking in the broad way. They're not walking that straight and narrow path which leadeth onto life. They walk if the broad way which leadeth onto destruction. The Lord is only praying for the ones that's walking down the narrow path. Yeah. Alright, this is Matthew 419. And he says unto unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me is what make you fishers of men. And that's why we out here. We out here to fish the men of the Lord. We out here to fish for his elect. Now sometimes the net is going to catch bad fish. But the bad fish will not last. The only ones that's going to last is the elect. Because the elect is going to be sown in good ground. And when the storms blow and the earth shakes because they was founded on solid ground, because they was founded on a rock, which that rock is Yahushua, which is this word, they're going to survive. They're going to last. But the ones who is sown in sand and they built their foundation upon sand, they're not going to last. And that's the majority of these people. They're building their foundations on not solid ground. They're building their foundations on sand. That's why when all hell breaks loose and when their lives go to shit, even more shit than it already is, they're going to bug out. They're going to go crazy. They're going to kill themselves. Suicide is going to... Uh, uh, excel in this place, man. Because they're not going to be able to deal and cope with all the hell that's going on on the planet Earth. Yeah. So drop this? Yeah, back to Jeremiah 66. Okay. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 6. I mean 16 and 6. 16, 16. Jeremiah 16 to 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So the Lord sent fishes. That is our mission. That is our job. We out here to fish. And then after the fishing is over, there's going to be hunting season. The Lord is going to let loose his angels, his spirits created for vengeance, to slay both man, woman, old, young, elders, senior citizens, babies, according to the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter and the fourth verse. The Lord is going to let his angels smite and kill. For mine, for mine eyes are upon all their ways, they are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. So every, every act, every deed is not hid from the Lord. Everything that you do in the dark, the Lord sees. The Lord can see as bright as day. 
all your deeds, all your actions. And they're going to be weighed in the balance when it's time for judgment. Everything you do is going to be weighed in the balance in a time of judgment. You will meet your maker. And what you did in this life will be weighed. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled my land, they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Yeah, the Lord is going to smite. He is going to kill for all the detestable things and abominable things that you've done to his land. Starting with the land of Israel. You defiled the land. You tarnished his land. So what do you think the Lord is going to do to you? Oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. That's what you, Joe Schmo, everyday Edomites are going to say. Your fathers have inherited lies. You thinking you're the people of the Lord. You thinking you're the chosen people of God, and you're not. You think the land of Israel belongs to you, and it doesn't. You think that the world belongs to you, and it doesn't. Because you're not the chosen people of God. You are from the house of Esau, Edom. You are Edomites. Sure, shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. Yeah, the world is going to know who the Heavenly Father is. Everybody will learn who God is through your death and destruction, through his wrath, through his anger. God is not who you expect him to be. Just read the Old Testament and see how many people die. That's the God that you're about to see in these times to come. The God of wrath, the God of vengeance, the God of death. That's the God you're about to witness unless you repent. If you do not repent, that's your ass. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yeah, it's a fearful thing to think that you in control of your life. It's a fearful thing to think that the Heavenly Father is all love. He's all good. The Heavenly Father has more than just uh, a... The Heavenly Father is more than just good. The Heavenly Father more is more than just love. He said he formed the light and darkness. He created good and evil. He's all those things. And that's the God that you're about to see. I made a point, right? That, um, you know, the Lord in the ancient, in ancient times, the Lord was basically, you know, putting a lot of people to death, man. You know, and we're right now in the time of mercy. You know, before then, you know, the Lord was known as al Shabi, you know? Right? Because of the judgments that bring out. The fact that the Lord, one time, he had somebody put to death just for picking up sticks on the Sabbath. Or you have uh, a guy that touched the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant and just, just, straight, just straight up got put to death, man. You know, this is the guy you're supposed to fear, man. The Lord said he doesn't change. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever, man. Right? 
So you people, you don't understand the power that's about the wrath that he's about to bring on the planet Earth very soon, man. All right? See, we understand the, 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 the fear of the Lord. We understand the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right? That's what it says in the group. It says, uh, we persuade men. You're about to get that. You know, do, do what? The terror of the Lord this way, men. All right. So we see the we see that the Lord right now. The only the only the only thing that see we understand that. All right. When that time comes, we gonna be fearful too. All right. Don't get it don't get it twisted. We gonna be in fear too, man. But, but guess what? We understand these are the things. Right now, what we're doing right now, as far as we want the Lord to see our, see us doing our works right now, so when that time of wrath comes, the Lord can show mercy, man. You know, because we know we know the terror of the Lord. Man. Hey, this is the same power that destroyed the earth, man, by flood, by water. And this time around, He's going to destroy it by a way of fire, man. Thermonuclear destruction. All right, by the way of these icy air missiles, man. That's what hit this place. Okay. Right. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah, Look. knowing the terror of the Lord, man. The brother was just elaborating on all the things that the Lord did that was dreadful, that was scary as shit. The man flooded the planet Earth. The people were so scared that they built a tower so they, so they could survive yeah. the next time he tried to destroy the earth. Yeah. And then he confounded them. He was like, oh, <laughs> y'all niggas think y'all slipped. Yeah. And he divided the nations, man, by uh, uh, giving you different languages. All right? So knowing what the Lord did in the past, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing therefore the tower of the Lord, we persuade men. We persuade men, man. That's why we out here teaching. That's why we put our lives to the side to come out here to teach. Because we know whatever the hell we was doing in the world is, doesn't match what we supposed to be doing right now, which is teaching his word. Right. Nothing compares, nothing matches, man. But we are made manifest unto the most high. And I trust also, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Yeah, we are manifest unto the most high by doing this. And, and Paul was hoping that, you know, that the believers got the message as well. They understand the, the urgency and the importance of doing this. This is uh, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. O oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. Yeah, the Habakkuk was afraid, man. He was scared. Because of when the Lord, the scriptures say, when the Lord speaks, who can but prophesy, man? It says the lion. Give me that, Amos. Lion roar. Yeah. Who cannot? Uh, oh, I got it. Got it's, it. In the, it's in Amos three. It's in the chapter of Amos three. Huh. Did you so finish it, sir? Huh. Got it. It says, um, it says, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath. Remember mercy. Yeah, in wrath, remember mercy, man. Because that's how, that's how gruesome and chaotic it's going to be. There's going to be so much death going on. I'm like, damn, Lord. Is anybody going to survive? So many people are going to be dying from the Lord's judgment. It's going to be like, yo, are you, are you going to have mercy on anybody, Lord? You know? And that's scary, man. That's why it says uh, it's going to be a, a, a time of trouble. That's why he has to set forth the archangel Michael. Because it's going to seem like all of Israel is being destroyed, man. But only to the elect's sake, that's, that's why the Lord is going to send back the archangel Michael, man, to defend the elect in that time, man. You 
know? It's going to be a straight up judgment out here, man. Yeah, all right. This is Amos 3 and 8. The lion has roared. Who will not fear? The lion has roared. Who is it going to fear? If you in a wild, if you in a jungle, and you see a lion looking at you, staring at you, you're going to be scared, man. You're going to be shook. People were scared at zoos with a lion or a gorilla behind the glass. But if a lion roared, you won't be shaking in your pants, man. Yeah. Yeah. The lion I roared, who will not fit? The Lord power I've spoken, who can but prophesy? Who can but prophesy, man? The spirit comes upon you to just start teaching, start speaking. Because that's how overwhelming this power is. That's how overwhelming this knowledge is. Like once you hear it, you gotta just start telling people. Did you know? Or did you hear? You know what's about to happen? Yeah. That was it? Yeah, that's it. I got something. You could be good. Alright. Oh, yeah, I could. I could go up. Also, you can do that. Alright, that, 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 that shit. I'm here. You know what I mean? I'm going to go up, right? Want me to start at um, six? All right. This is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Because what does that mean? If the watchmen at the gates blow the trumpet, that means to be alarmed. That means danger. Be aware, be alert. So the people are going to be afraid if they hear a trumpet. Go ahead. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Shall there be evil done in the city and the Lord have not done it? Because the Lord is the one responsible for death. The Lord is responsible for misfortune, bad luck, gray clouds. Wildfires, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes. The Lord is responsible for those things. Yeah. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So surely the Lord power is doing nothing because he's a king. A king sits on the throne and gives commands and orders. And he has subjects to execute those plans and orders and commands. So surely the Lord God doeth nothing. Heavenly Father ain't got to come off his throne to tell you what he's going to do. He has messages. He has messages to tell you what he's going to do. What he has planned. What he expects from you. What's right? What's wrong? That's what the message's job is. The king sits on his throne and gives orders. Okay. This is our Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. The Lord kills and makes a lie. The Lord takes people out of this world this Lord, the Lord brings people into this world. When a newborn baby is born, that's because of God. When your, when your grandparents, your nannies, or even children die, that's because of God. God is the one that's in control of life and death. God. I wound and I heal. If you get hurt, that's because of God. If you recover, that's because of God. Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. There's none. There's no other God. None of your idols, none of your witchcraft can save you from the hands of the Lord. There's no power greater than God. 
There's no witchcraft, sorcery, astrology, palm reading, soothsaying. Nothing compares to the might of the Most High. God. This is um, Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. That's why the Lord is going to bring war to the planet Earth. He's going to bring war. America was founded when America was established it was built on violence America started by the treason of the British Empire it rebelled against the British Empire America was birthed and started with going to war against Britain. And America is going to fall by going to war against Russia and Iran and the other nations. It was built on war, it's going to fall by war. Revelation chapter 13, in verse, in verse 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leper, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So the beast that is speaking about is Russia, and you're going to have the EU going to war with America. All right? Yeah. It says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. The Roman Empire. Because I guess I was too distracted. The Roman Empire fell for a certain time period when Jake came into power. But then the deadly wound was healed through America. And the rebirth of the EU. I mean the birth of the EU. Yeah. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? And who was able to make war with him? Yeah, who was able to make war with the beast, man? Which is EU. Because they just revamped what the Roman Empire already did. Go ahead. That was it. Okay. Um, you want me to start at 14? Okay. Second Ezra 16 to 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Yeah, that's what happens the way the thermal nuclear destruction. This up and coming third world's war. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward. Even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Yeah, all the plagues that the Lord has set up is not going to return. Just like he, when he plagued Egypt, it did not return. It fulfilled its purpose, which was to systematically destroy Egypt and to downplay the Egyptian gods. That's why the Lord plagued Egypt the way he plagued it. To show that the Egyptian gods wasn't shit. So the Lord is gonna do the same thing to America. It's gonna show you that his American gods ain't shit. Yeah. Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Yeah, even the prophet Ezra was scared. Which shows reincarnation as well. Because he saw himself living in these times. He's like, who the hell is going to deliver me from this? Look at all this shit that's going on on earth. How am I going to survive this? 
Go ahead. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. That's the time period we're living in. We're living in the beginning of sorrows. That's why there's so much pain and suffering going on in the planet Earth. Because we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. A time like it never was on the planet Earth. Go ahead. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of famine and great death. Famine means a lack of bread. The supermarket, once, if the truck is going on strike, there's no foods coming into the city. And once there's no foods coming into the city, it's going to be famine. The supermarkets don't have month supplies of food. They only have days supplies of food. And you know what people are going to do when they find out that there's no more food coming into the city. They're going to steal and they're going to kill. Because they're going to try to feed their family and feed their babies. Yeah. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand and fit. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? This is the time period we're coming into, man. We're coming into great evil times, man. Jake is only concerned about partying and bullshitting, getting high, getting drunk, getting hoes. That's all a nigga knows, man. But we're coming in a time of evil. And if you don't get, if you don't get right with the Lord, you're going to get caught up with the evils that's about to come. Okay. Behold, famine and plague. Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Yeah, they're sent as scourges for amendment. Right? What is a scourge? When you get beat to the ounce of your life left. That's what a scourge means. And the scourges are meant for amendment. That's to appease the wrath of the Lord. Because the people piss God off. <coughs> God is pissed off for all the wickedness that goes on the earth daily. The scriptures say that he's angry with the wicked every day. So when the judgment starts to happen, that is going to appease the wrath of the Lord. God. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Here you go. Right there, man. It shows you. Even after these people see other people die, they're still going to be wicked. After seeing people starve to death, people convert to cannibalism, right? People eating their children or their, or their parents, right? People stealing and killing for the lack of food. They're still going to be wicked. Still going to commit adultery. Still going to be having orgies or sacrificing to other gods. You're still going to do wickedness, man. Okay. Yo, victuals shall be so good and cheap. Yeah, that, that showed you in the book of Eli. He went into a store and gave him some hand sanitizer wipes for a charger or something like that. Victuals will be so good cheap because we're coming into a cashless society. We're coming into a time period where people are going to be transactioning resources versus FRN notes. <coughs> barter. The barter system. I, I got... I got 10 pairs of socks, <laughs> you know? Let me buy an orange for me. It's going to be a barter system, man. Yeah, Jake, they, they going to be bartering their women. Oh, yeah. They going to be having their women uh, selling, selling their socks, you know? I give you my wife for a night so I can feed my kids. 
They're going to be bothering themselves too. Yeah. All right? Because this wickedness exceedingly pollutes the earth, man. They're going to be doing all manners of wicked acts just to survive. Yeah. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Yeah, sword, famine, and great confusion, man. All this is going to happen simultaneously, man. With the economic crash, the digital society, certain certain states is going to be all right. Technology is going to be working. Certain states are going to be like Mad Max. They show you that in the movie The Hunger Games. You had the elites living good, and everybody else was living like peasants. They was living like barbaric. But it was, the more they borrowed or did something, the more their name got put in that list of them being a ring. Something like that. Like, that lottery, their they name appeared in that, in that, in that slot. It, yeah. So this is on 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword so if you don't die from starving to death, you're going to die by the troops. You're going to die by the Gurkha troops, martial law, whatever it may be. Yeah. And the dead shall be cast out as dung. Yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of dead bodies in the street. There's going to be a whole bunch of just people going to be walking over dead bodies. Because there ain't going to be nobody to bury these dead bodies. Yeah. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. No man to care for them. Nobody's going to be able to, like the brother just mentioned, no man going to be able to unbury them. Now, this is going to cause more disease and more outbreak, because the body supposed to be either burned or unburied, man, ASAP. Uh, developed uh, typhus. Playing called typhus. Yeah. I got signed. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 13. And now, because ye have done all these works, saith the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called you, but ye answered not. Yeah, so the, um, the wicked of our people. They didn't hear the Lord. The prophets have been going out. Now we talking about this, this from this day and age since Abba. And that was the late 60s, right? During the 60s. All right? <laughs> said, up unto this uh, present day. Right. It says, uh, therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein you trust and unto the place which I have gave to you and your folk and your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. All right. And I, mm -hmm. and I will cast you out of my sight. Yeah, that's what happened to the nation of Israel. We was cast out of the Lord's sight. We lost our land, and we went into captivity. So we lost our um, identity. We didn't know who the Lord's name was, our land. So we, we couldn't call upon anyone. So we we was, we, was, we was in a dead state. We was in a dead, we were spiritually dead for a while, man. Right. And these nations had their way with us, starting with the so-called white man. Right. The scripture says it shall be a falling away. You yeah. know, from the time of uh, 66 uh, AD, from 70 to 70 AD. Yeah, because the apostles, they, they wanted the kingdom then during the Roman Empire, um, during the time of the pagan Roman Empire, you know, and that was the time during the um, 12 emperors, the Lord was like, it's going to be a falling away first. You know what I mean? The, 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 what happened? Um, during the, um, 
the Flavian Dynasty, they rolled up on us. Well, that was 69 or 70 AD, 70 AD. All right, and then, and then you had you had our people getting in the Roman Empire, but then, but then um, you know when they fell, we, then, then during the Renaissance period they came back into power, and that's when they start um, raising hell upon us, man. It says, um, and I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Yep. See, see, so um. Southern to the Northern Kingdom, man. All right, the Northern Kingdom, they came on this side of the earth to dwell, to mean to live first. You know, cause you know, Solomon had their Navy ships, but we're talking about to live here. The Northern Kingdom, they came over here first. All right? Says, um, Therefore, pray not down for this people. So we're not praying for all of Israel. Because, yo, they, they're in the way, man. They're in the way. Right now, they're useless. Lord willing, we the elect, we're praying for the elect. It says, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them. So lift up a, we're not lifting up a cry or prayer. Because, yo, look, you will have them, you will have the men of the Lord prophesying online. They think it's a joke. They might hear it on the radio. I don't know. Or, or they walk past the men of the Lord on a day-to-day basis, on a day-to-day activity, and they don't want to hear. They think everything is funny. Instead of hearing the matter first, they just, and, that, and that's that's to their own destruction, man. Right? Right. It says, neither make intersection for, uh, to me, but, but I would not hear me. Yeah, so nobody, we're not praying for, we're not praying for the two-thirds. All right? We're not praying for them, man. Okay. Do not touch anything with me bad there. I'm not going to This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. The person said they, uh, they want to still get high. They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear the Lord's word or whatever. But yet, they want to continue and still get high, still still and doing their dumb shit. What do you, what can you do for a person like that? It's a waste. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 10 To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear Behold their ear is uncircumcised and they yes, cannot hearken. They're spiritually uncircumcised man they got that foreskin they're hard headed man they, they, They're stuck in their ways man They're set in their ways but yet and still they're going to they're gonna, um, they're gonna convince themselves in their own wickedness that man I don't want to hear what Something that a man written. Um, and this and that. Yeah, man, look, man. There's a lot going on. I, but but yet they still perform their paganism. They're still, they're still indulging their pork and their and their witchcraft, whether they're selling drugs or using it. And them potions. So now you don't want to hear your problems or what you're going through. Says, Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. You know, they don't want to hear it, man. It, 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 they, they can't gel with it, man. All right? So basically, I, hey, man, you're going to be purged out by nuclear destruction, by these troops. Then again, you might die by the troops and then be woken up to die nuclear destruction. Who right. knows? Right. The Lord is the Father of the Spirit. He can, he can put you to death and also he can uh, make you uh, resurrect you back in the, at the end. You know, when, when, when the, uh, the second death comes because no, no, nobody really escapes. When it comes to judgment as far as that, that, that second death, nobody's going to escape back then. Because look, you die by the troops, you go right to the spiritual realm. The Lord, the, yo, I, you got like, like, yo, person that they die by the troops. As soon as they go to the spiritual realm, the Lord telling them, all right, your next judgment is nuclear destruction. You about, I'm about to put your spirit back down. I'm about to wake you up in a few seconds. The spiritual realm and this realm time is different. Because the Lord, the Lord was here two days ago. 
spiritual realm, realm time is different from this time. Right. So they might be put to death by the troops. Go to the spiritual realm, the Lord, like, God, right, your judgment, you got put to death for what you did at this time, and now I'm going to bring you back to suffer nuclear destruction. Right. And it's only a few seconds. Hey, because when the Lord, when the Lord um, the, raised from the dead, he, you know, also people that, that passed on, right, they, they rose too with the Lord. Yeah. They rose back to you know? So that's not far-fetched, man. The Lord didn't do that, man. Because you think, like, you got the, um, uh, who was that rough child that passed away? Um, the one, uh, 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 uh Evelyn. And then there was one before him that passed away. Yeah, David Rockefeller, right? So, yeah. so, see, they think they're going to escape that, that, that second half. God, the Lord can raise them back up. The Lord can raise them back up, fry them. And then, but not, but they, for all oh, they're the ones that the leak that passed. Yeah. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold. Look, he cometh with clouds. Who cometh with clouds? The Lord. Who the world calls Jesus Christ. Those are not actual clouds. That's what the world calls spaceships. We, the scriptures name them chariots, stars, wheels, mountains. But the Lord is going to be on a main ship, a large one. And those ships are going to block the sun. They don't cover the skies. Behold, he cometh from clouds. Uh -huh. And every eye shall see him. Every eye gonna see the Lord when he returns. Every eye going every eye gonna see the Lord when he returns. Uh -huh. When he returns. The blind gonna see the Lord, man. Yeah. Alright? Because the Lord coming in his full power. Your um your high-end government officials know, your high-end military personnel know, the ones that's higher up. They know what time it is. Man, they're scared, man. They got their bullshit ass weapons in outer space. All right, they got their so-called spaceships to try to fight the Lord, man. It's gonna be a slaughter. It says, and every eye shall see him, uh -huh. and they also which pierced him. The two Roman soldiers that pierced the Lord on the cross. Now they they not they didn't live two thousand years. It's talking about reincarnation. So those men are back today. Those those um they probably in higher up in the military, man. Higher up position to where they don't really gotta um go out and like do co combat. They could call the shots. No, they got a position. You know what I mean? And and, and, and all right. And they also which pierced him, all right. and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Yeah, man, so they, gonna be, uh, everyone's going to be afraid when the Lord returns. He's going to elect everyone. The Lord, because the, the Lord is coming back to um, deliver the, um, the one third, the elect, and then destroy two thirds in the, um, in the heathens. And the, and the, I mean, he's the, the only one he's not going to destroy is the elites because they're going into slavery. This is uh, Acts chapter in America and uh, in the land of Israel. Acts 24, verse 15. And have hope towards the Most High, which they himself also allow, that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust. There's going to be a resurrection of the dead, the just and the unjust. All right? You're going to have those waking, woken up for nuclear destruction. Also, those um, going to go slavery, man. Because um, they don't, you, don't, you don't escape judgment. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is, um, sometimes you don't get, receive, a lot of, sometimes a person might go through their whole life not getting the judgment of the Lord, and the Lord catch him on the next go round. That's the that's the deadly thing, man. You know what I mean? Right. The Lord said his judgment is as as great. Yeah. Right. So, goes goes in the company. Right. Look at 
look at the people that died in them towers, man. I think it was like a blank. Pardon me. That was a that was a that was a crazy death, man. That that, that, um, that fire went up to temperatures of four thousand degrees. They had thermate in them buildings, packed thermate in them buildings. When that's ignited, it turns it makes steel turn into butter. So the planes, that was probably just a that was just a detonating device to ignite all that thermite that was packed throughout the buildings, the towers. And that was a horrible way to go. The people were like, oh, the poor people. A couple thousand people died. Who knows what they did in the past, in their past lives, man? The Lord got them. You know? This is uh, Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. You perished being innocent, man. Whoever perished, no one's innocent. The Lord pardoned certain people, but no one's innocent. Well, where were the righteous cut off? Where were the righteous cut off? Oh, this person, this child was innocent. That person wasn't born yet, he was in his mother's stomach. No, you don't know, that's not a, that's not a new spirit. That flesh is new, but that spirit is old. So you judge on what you did in your present life and in your past lives. There's nothing new under the sun. There's no new creation under the sun. It's been here before. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. The things that have been, it is that which shall be. Uh -huh. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. There is no new creation under the sun. So no one's innocent. You've been here before. It's a thing called reincarnation, man. Re back in the flesh. Back in the flesh. Your spirit was put back in the flesh. Verse 10. Is there anything whereof it no, may be the said? International bankers know. That's why they have that incest and all that, man. They already know that they, they you come back. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? No, it's nothing new. There's nothing new. There's no, you don't have no new human beings, no, no new persons, man. And then a lot of times, too, you, they come back in their life. You as wealthy, you come back in that wealthy line. You, you are a gladiator, you coming back on this side as a gladiator. You one of them athletes or UFC fighters. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing. It's nothing new. You you are higher. You are president or whatever. You was in the Roman Senate or you was in one. You was one of those Caesars in the past. There's nothing new under the sun. It says, "See, this is new. It have been already of old time with you before. It has been a, already in old times. All right." That's why the scripture says the spirit of prophets are subject to the prophets. If you were a prophet back then, you were now. If you turn your hand from the plow back then, most likely you do. You then you're doing it now. If you was a cutthroat, someone that was disloyal, you're going to be doing it now. You're going to come back doing the same thing. Majority of your time. Verse 11, right? There is no remembrance of former things. There's no remembrance. The Lord basically mind wipes you. Know what I mean? You, uh, you come back, all right, and you're going to go back. You're going to come back. But when you're in the spiritual realm, the Lord telling you how your life's going to play out on this side and how you're going to die or whatever it's going to be. But before you send that spirit, I'm sending your spirit. Well, you already know, but it's no remembrance. So you just come in, boom, that's it. You don't want to remember certain things either, you know? And your mind can't hold that in multiple lifetimes, man. You don't bug yeah. the fuck out, man. You, number one, you might you might take a drill to your head and try to pour it, pour it. <laughs> nah, it's real. You, 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 you're in a, like you're in a trench at the present, but you living out, nah, you can't deal. You ain't on level to deal. It takes spiritual power to deal with that. Right? You know, Lord, the Lord might have it when you know he give you a glimpse of certain things, like it's called deja vu. Yeah. Like you could be walking somewhere, like 
or you might see a face that it looks familiar. I just like, you know what I'm saying? Certain things might, like, damn, I, I, like I've dreamt this before. I've been here before, but it, you know, that's, that's the Lord just, you know, giving you that, that, that taste of, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. It says, uh, there is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Yeah. All right, so the Lord, the Lord, um, he, he blots that memory out. But you know when you remember again? When you go back to the spiritual realm? Everything? Yeah. When you're in the spiritual realm, you, you start remembering then. You know, like, yo, all right, we're, we're enemies, we're family, this and that. You know, because it's all peace up, up in the spiritual realm. There ain't no chaos going on. Everything a complete order. No sin in heaven. Ain't no sin in heaven. The reason why we go through we go through because of sin. Right. Diseases, sickness, all timings, bodies. Yeah, it's a corrupted body. So in heaven, the spirits like this. Yeah. You're in your heavenly body. You're well, celestial. In the kingdom, we're going to know everything too. You know, we, that's how we're going to be able to judge these heathens, man. You know what I'm saying? Certain certain shit that they did to us, you know, these heathens, you know, we're going to get get back. Yeah. On your place under the sun, earth, this is this is the get back realm. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is what that judgment is played out. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and uh, verse uh, 15. It says, that which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, uh -huh. and the Most High requires that which is past. The Lord, the Most High requires that which is past. Past lives. What you, how you live, you know? The Lord requires that which is past. Verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. What is the, under the sun the place of judgment? Earth. This realm and this earth on this planet, this is a place of judgment. It says that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. So the righteous and the wickedness was there. This is a place of judgment. Yeah. Right, so that cuts that long in hell. Yeah. hell yeah. That, you don't, you, don't, you don't serve our, you know, they say, uh, you know, you got eternal judgment when you burn forever. How can there be eternal judgment when you burn forever, right? And a person might only live 40 years, 50 years. So, and then out of those 50 years, out of the 50 years, four, what, 30 something of them, he was wicked. So, so you you gonna you gonna go somewhere and be tortured for eternity and you and, and you only live 50, 60 years? It doesn't make sense. You gotta make it make sense. It don't make sense. It's not it's not it's the balance is off. What about babies? Are babies in hell? This is a place of judgment. If you wanna consider hell, this is hell. The grave or condition on earth, that's hell. That's hell. A person is um in a, in a, in a, a person is in a um in a wheelchair. So if that if the grave is hell, but you're not you're not that. Nah, it's like a low condition or like the grave, but right? basically basically um dead flesh in the ground. You know what I mean? You're not feeling nothing. The spirit is in the spiritual realm. And, and, and when animals when animals um so called die. Their spirit goes in, their spirit is born again because they don't go to the spiritual realm. So they, they, they're being, they're being, they, their spirit is thrown right into another, um, into that same, like if it was a dog, it's going to be that same dog, that same kind. Because the birds will be that same bird. Yeah, it ain't going to be a bird and then be a pig. No. Nah, and it's going to be that same gender. You know what I mean? Like uh, your past lives, you're gonna be a random a male. The only thing is, 
you 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 could come as a different tribe. You might have been you might be Judah in this life, but you might have been Issachar, and, uh, and probably things that. like that. Yeah, yeah, that can ha that that happens. You got it. This is Job. I know I was shifting, but it's a lot. Job three sixteen. Or has a, a hidden untimely earth I had not been, as infants which never were to a light. There the wicked cease from troubling. Yeah, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the spiritual realm, the wicked cease from troubling. Because you got you got the um the wicked spirits on the left hand side and then the righteous on the right hand side. But there's complete order. There's, there's no wicked thoughts or nothing. It's all righteous. Pure energy. And just like you got the earthly body, you got a spiritual body. Spiritual. With color. With color. Glowing, radiating, clothed. Wait, so, and and righteous body, apparel. Is that that same? The body that I can So let me, let me go back to the, the spiritual world. Not the end of prophecy, right? Like all these past lives that we've been living. Right? We go back to the spiritual world. Is that body that we're going to turn to the body that we're going to be in? No. That body going to be different too? Huh? So that spiritual body going to be different too? No. No, no. These bodies, you're talking about three bodies that we have? It's not going to be the same body. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Okay. It's different. It's different because I got it right here. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and uh, we start at verse uh, 50. It says, Now this I say, grace, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high, neither do corruption inherit corruption. Yeah, so flesh and blood can't inherit the kingdom. And the kingdom and the kingdom to come? Let me, let me jump up. A lot. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 40. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. Yeah, terrestrial terrain, I meaning earthly bodies and celestial. I, I was, yeah, heavenly. So we got these chains that's on us right now. Our spirit is, is locked into this body. You know what I mean? That heat is fire, right? But the glory of the celestial is one. Yeah. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. It's two different glories. Right. Like like here in this, in this earth, this body, you deal with women. But but in the spiritual realm, none of that's taking place. There's no need for that. Right. You know what I mean? All the spirits is there. It's yeah. there where you multiply. Right. Right. It's okay. two different glories. Right. It says... There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon. Uh -huh. Just glory. like, just like you have the sun and the moon. All right, you got one form of light. The sun, you got the sun, and you got the moon, which is split. The moon has a, it has also a bright and a dimmer light. And that's what those people are for. You think the moon gets its, its sun is from a reflection of no. The moon has its own light. Yeah, the moon has its own light. Yeah. All things, all things is not like to be like. So you'll, you'll get there. They all have their own glory. Yeah. It says the same. Like you said, the sun and the moon has its own glory. The sun gives us light during the day. It, it gives rain. It gives sunlight to the plants, crops. It gives warmth. Yep. It gives the moon at night gives us light during the night. You control the tides. You control the water. And for the season, you know, half of the days and things like that. New moon and feast day. So the sun has its glory during the daytime. It gives us heat, warmth, makes plants grow, it gives us vitamin D. The moon has its glory for the feast, high holy days, and winter times. It could control the tides. The seas, the waters, people. Yeah. That's how you say lunatic, lunatic. Lunatic. Your body has your body has water. Oh, man. Yeah. It says uh, it's made it's up of water. 
Verse 42. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. That's right. So so and so is the dead. So you know when you when you um when you when you about to give up the spirit, when you so called die from when you so called die, this your spirit is is removed from these chains. It rises up, it's transitioning, and then the Lord pulls it into the spiritual realm. You know what I mean? That's why some people they say they say they see that flash or whatever, some people in spirit say, well they get cold. Yeah, some people they get cold, the spirit leaves them. Yeah, the spirit is pure energy. Yep. Fire. Spirit is pure energy, it's in your it's in your um it's in your it's in your brain, but it radiates to your body. You know what I mean? And, and, and your um and also in your mind you got the um the thermostat, the hypothalamus. That's like the thermostat for controls the heat, controls your body temperature. Read on it says, it is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory, it is sown in weakness, it is raised in power, it is sown in natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. You are a natural one and you have a spiritual body. All right? Yeah, this is the natural body. This natural is for the flesh that we have. This is incorruption. This goes off. This craves sin. You know? It dies. It dies. It gets sick. You know, it gets weak. The spiritual body don't deal with none of those things. It's just up here in the heavens. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At least. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's Ecclesiastes 3 and 20. All, all go on to one place. All going, all mankind go on to one place. That, what is that? The third heaven. That third heaven. Where, um, well, Paul said, um, he said basically, well, he said it was unlawful to speak, meaning he couldn't explain in detail how the spiritual realm was. That's the third heaven. Because you have the third heaven, the spiritual realm, you have the second heaven, outer space, and then you have the first one, which under the firmament, the ozone, here, and it's twofold. It can also mean rulership. Just like the word world got different meanings, heaven's got different layers. Yeah. It says, all go in onto one place. All are of the dust, and all turn to the dust again. The flesh is always shedding. 90% of our household dust is from skin. This layer is stratum cornea. Out of dermis, yeah, so the top layer turns to dust. Spray, um, so all of this, it, this flesh, it, it turns into dust. It rots out. Yeah, that's why when you get out of bed, you see all the flakes, yeah. the little dots on the bed. Because your shed is constantly skin. Uh, your skin is constantly shed. You get a new layer every day. Yeah. Every day. It says, who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward? The spirit of man go upward. When you when you transition, like the brother was mentioning, transitioning, the spirit, it travels up and then it's pulled into the spiritual realm. However the Lord have it done, you know what I mean? Realm open and that spirit is called. Who knoweth the spirit? A man that goes upward and the spirit of the beast that goes downward to the earth. The spirit of the beast goes downward. Alright? Because um they 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 not they not receiving any judgment. They the animals, they live off instinct. Their spirit is going to the ground and then it's it's born through another animal. So that to that to their kind. So they constantly going coming coming back. Being born, you know what I mean? We give it, we give it law and order. That's why life was breathed into us, these laws, statutes, and commandments. You know? 
they they're just going off. They're living off the instinct. They're beasts. Yeah. Their animal glory is their instinct. Like your brother was saying, that's why birds go to fly south in the winter. That's their instinct. That's their glory. That's their blessing. That's why uh, elephants migrate. Bulls and cows, whatever you watch the animal planet, and they migrate through the desert because they know where the water is at. That's their instinct. Well, they know when like, bad weather's coming. When trouble. Yeah. And they know. And they, and they know about your how about Shimmy Hour Shot. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's just hard headed mortals. They know they already know the, the your how about Shimmy Hour Shot. They 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 own it. So when people say animals are not intelligent, no, you just don't understand their glory. Uh, they, 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 a lot of them can see spirits and all of that, man. A lot of spirits. They know a lot of them they, they, they can see spirits and all of that. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, it's to the point where you have, um, you know, like, when you, uh, when you hear birds chirping early in the morning, that's the praise of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can hear the birds get up early, you know, they chirping, chirping. That's the praise of the Lord. It's, it's, it's certain things that the animals do, you know, we can learn a lot from, man. You know, you see a dog, dogs eating grass, because why? His stomach is fucked up. You know, certain things, you know, you just watch the animals, man. You learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake, you be anointed, which the Lord basically had to give himself up as a sacrifice. And, a, and, a, and, a, and he was a lamb, and the lamb is humble. You look at it, I know I'm blabbering, you look at a goat, they go out kicking and screaming, man. Like I mentioned before, I think it was last week or a few days ago, you see a goat, you see a goat about to be swallowed by a Komodo dragon, you see the noise they be making or whatever. Sometimes you can even hear them when they when they digest it, man. But lamb go all humble. How the Lord went out for the nation of Israel, and because he sent as um as Solomon right. and Adam, he, he knew the mission. He knew the mission. The mission. He knew that that, that, that was what he was born to do. You know. Um, verse forty. It says. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do us not thou fear the most high? Yeah, See, but the other man, the other man I was on the cross, he was the other Jake rebuked. The, the wicked Jake. Seeing thou art in the same condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. Yeah, so they was on that cross because that was a that was a judgment they were first supposed to receive. But the Lord was innocent. Says, but this man have done nothing amiss. Done nothing, not, done nothing amiss. And he said unto Yahweh Shai, Lord. That, that, that's the time, around that time, man, it was um, doing a lot of, they was, they, that was a wrong way to um, the torture people on the cross, man. This was a time, yeah, this was a time of um, a Tiberius during this time. Ty, the Emperor, Roman Emperor Tiberius was on the scene during this time. The Lord's later time. He said, um, and he said unto Yahweh Shad, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Now, now, now he was saying, remember me when he remember me. But he he didn't know that he was going. He was going straight to spiritual realms while the Lord was going there. Even the wicked Jake was going there too. He says, and Yahweh Shad said unto him, Verily I say unto thee. Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Paradise, the spiritual realm. But that gave him comfort while he was on that cross. What the Lord told him. That gave him comfort during that time right then and there. So see, look. The scoffing motherfucker, he didn't have no comfort. He just 
he was just was um yeah he was there but that moment of comfort the Lord telling you I'm going I want you gonna be with me that that yo he probably that thought alone probably no numbed him for that pain on the cross no lot no but the Lord had to feel that for Jake for all of us for tonight but now that wicked nigga he didn't get no comfort until he got to the kingdom so he had to go through that. That time and agony on the cross, you know what I mean? But that righteous Jake, he probably, his mom's probably at peace like, yo, fuck this, this ain't nothing. You know, I'm just saying. Like, we right, we, we suffer hell, but we know the truth, we know the Lord is coming for return, so this gives us, this helps us deal with the bullshit we gotta go through now. And just like um, during the time with Stephanie, Stephanie was getting stoned, and he's seeing the Lord. He's seeing the Lord on the, on the right hand side of his father. So he was getting stoned. And he, he, he didn't feel when the, the, the stone was hitting him. Because he already knew. He was like, he, he knew where he was going. Right? That's how, you know, you got to be. It's, it's true. Right? Knowing that, you know, hey, if we got to die for this truth, we're going to be right there. Right there with the father, man. And the son. You know? It's the book of Job, chapter 12, verse 7. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. See, the animals, you can learn a lot how the animals move, or how, how you, can, you can learn patience, strategy, how to hold your arm. Um, like, like there was a dude that was talking on a, on a job today. In a way, he was right, but the way he went about it was wrong. I ain't say nothing, because the, 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 I'm just watching, observing. You know, he was right, but his approach was wrong, and then the supervisor was like, yo, yo, you acting like, 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 yo, you acting like a child. You don't have no control over your emotions. You know what I mean? A grown adult don't, don't act like you, how you acting. You got his person yelling or whatever. You know what I mean? It was like, yo, you know? But, um, you know, and then everything, everything that Superfather said, I was messing with him later on. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I was the same Superfather. I'm like, yo, you showing emotion right now. And I repeated everything he said. He started laughing. He was like, yo, that's a good one. But it's not disrespectful, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, the animals will show you. How to like look at the serpent, look at certain animals when they go on a hunt. You know what I mean? They showing a, they showing patience and, and, and um and discipline. Even, even when you see a uh, certain bird, right? When they build nests and shit, you know they they build them with such you know what I'm saying like accuracy. Uh huh. You know it's just like man, like, you just marvel like damn. Like you might come one day, it's like, you know what I'm saying? And then like the next day, it's just built. Where it's like, it's just, you know what I mean? Perfect, like the Lord put it in his, it, you know, whatever the future's mind to, to build it that way. That's the spirit of the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm looking at, I was looking at some ads. Back in the world, I was um, I was in Florida, and I saw a bunch of maggots. They was moving, they was moving like a damn assembly line, strategic, taking them to where they had to go. You know what I mean? Yo, they was moving in, in harmony like, yo, they was in order, pretty much. <laughs> you got it. You know how to build a treehouse. Watch them burn. So it says, But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee. And the fish of the sea shall declare unto thee, who knoweth not that all these that the hand of the Lord have brought this. Yeah, the Lord created all this and created that order. He gave them that instinct. You know what I mean? It's good to mention that all. Same way how you see birds fly in deep formations, uh -huh. that's how the Lord's gonna come back with the angels. Just like that, and I and I be 
formation, the military forms. And you can see that none of them break their ranks. No, nope. you always have one at the head. And of course, not like one takes over. It's just one, and it's like they follow that, 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 that yep. one. Nah, they ain't it's perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. No man formation, same altitude. And that's how he saw it develop his airplane. Okay. The airplane is in shape of a sword or a beam. And that's because it slices through the way. That's why when the birds fly the beam, it, 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 it do something against the fucking air force, like the force that's coming against them. That's why they fly in that formation. They don't fly in a straight line. They don't fly in a line. They fly in like that V formation. Because it cuts through the wind. Yep. See? And guess what? He so used that to, 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 to blueprint how to make airplanes. So this is uh, Proverbs 6 and 6. Go to the end, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Yeah, don't be got sluggards that that that's not doing the work. But look at that look at the ants, man. They prepare. They putting in that work. They lifting they lifting up things. They doing low. So you know you, you ever did moving jobs? You have people complaining and shit like that, man. The tons. Look at look at the what the weight the ants is doing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? They prepping. I think it's a hundred times the body size. See, and yeah, they prepping, yo. You know, just go online, go on YouTube, and watch an air documentary. When you watch an air documentary, your mind is going to be blown. Yeah. It's going to be blown because it's like a, a well-organized machine. Even if it costs their lives, because it's for the sake of the colony, they'll, they'll die. If they got to be a part of the bridge, they'll be a part of the bridge, whether it's the head or the toe. It doesn't matter as long as the colony gets to where they gotta go. If they gotta connect to a branch, they'll sacrifice being the bridge so the colony can get over them. Everything is for the sake of the colony and the queen, queen here. Just watch the documentary, man. It's like, it's literally, they'll build a civilization right underneath you. A whole deep colony would look like a city. Like a whole fucking city, man. And they built up. And when it's time for war, they'll give their lives, man. They'll give their lives for the sake of the colony. Like I said, somebody can think, like you said, a moving job. You'll think it's minute. But because it's for the sake of the colony, they ain't to do it. They ain't to do it. Even if my body's dead, use my body so the colony can progress. Just go on, watch any end documentary. And you'll see that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you see the face of the ant is directly. And then they show it like up under, close. Yeah, under like a smoke magnifier. You see that damn ant? It's like a damn fucking. Yeah. Red yeah. Red beast. Yeah. Red yeah. Red yeah. Red so it says, go to the end, thou slugger. Consider her ways and be wise. Yeah, so the Lord like to the Lord don't want to hear no excuses like look at the ant. Look at the work the ants put in. Look how they, they were sacrificed for their fellow, their fellow mate, uh their, their colony. But yet, you know, you have you have dick, I, I'm I'm catching hell or uh, this is too much. I can't do all this work. You know what I mean? And they prepping. So we supposed to be prepping for the Lord returning. So the time. Lord is looking like, yo, I made you, I made you basically more superior than 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 than, the, than these ants and insects and beasts. But you 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 dropping the ball. You know what I mean? I do you an alley. You know what I mean? I do you, I do the alley, yo. You supposed to make that move, and, and, and you you just dropped the ball. You fucked it up. Like you and when he did the fucking finger roll instead of dunking. <laughs> so it says, which having no guide or overseer or ruler, providing her meat in the summer and gathering for food. Now look at that. They move a strategic in an order. All right. We 
got it. The Lord gave us our leaders, our apostles, our bishops, the elders, on down the rank. They basically like in a little a little cheat code, man, because they put in a lot of work before we got here. And it's like it's like you're making it seem like it's um it was for nothing. So the Lord is not um the Lord is not is not forgetting that, like, you know? Yeah, like you said, they have no God, they ain't got no leader. But they do what they got to do. Yeah. They take care of their business. Yeah, we got leaders. We got leaders. So it's expected, it's expected we, we don't have an excuse. We got examples on earth today. Yeah. We got examples. These men are up in their feet. They're not young men. These are older men. And they out here sacrificing and giving their lives yeah. for this work. For the Lord, like I, I, look, 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 they, 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 they standing up, they stand out like, like we are. You gotta deal with the shocks of their knees or whatever. And they like, and they like they're 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? You see? Yeah, that's why they're young men. They ain't got no work, too. I'm sorry. They ain't got no excuse. You a young man. Saturday or whatever or, before, or without when they doing their lessons they could be out hanging out because yo oh, look I got I got I got family members in their 80s that they that live like they still in their 20s yo you know got certain like situations and clubs to where young all kind of age groups be there you know what I mean so I know I'm blabbering but you know it says, provide her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest. I don't know if you ever heard of the story of um, the ant and the grasshopper, ASAP Fables. Just go on YouTube, look up the, the story of the ant and the grasshopper. It's a dope story. I told my son the story. Basically, the grasshopper, winter was coming. The grasshopper didn't care. The grasshopper was chilling. And the ants was out there working. Spring, summer, fall, busting their ass, preparing for the winter. The grasshopper was lolly guy. He didn't care. He was like, oh, why y'all working so hard? Why y'all working so hard? Right? The ants is working. Ain't taking no breaks, no vacation, just working. Now the winter came. Now the grasshopper was trying to work, trying to find food. And guess what? Now the ants is partying, chilling, eating. Because they worked yeah. all the seasons. When it was winter time, they was chill. And now the grasshopper was trying to get the food that the ants was working for. They whole uh, season. But they didn't have enough. Let me finish this. So it says, How long will I sleep, O sluggy? Yeah, sleeping. Not doing his work. Yeah, we know you got a job, but their first job is doing this work. And it's not, it, it ain't like you, you got to come out to camp every day or, or do what you have to do every day, man. The, the Lord had it where, like, he, he, he made, he lowered, he, he loosened the load, lightened the load yeah. to where we got, we don't have to pull out a long scroll or whatever. Everything's codified. You know, the scriptures codified. You, you got the audio, you got the apostles, you got lessons out. It's, it's like, it ain't like um, a lot of information of the brothers put out. A lot of information to where you have to go to the library before, man. You have to go to certain universities and look through certain books. Right? And the access is, is open, is provided now. So this helps you 
to um, maneuver better now. So basically, it's like it's, it's no excuse now. So as scripture said, um, we have entered into other men's rest, right? You know, because we're student, the other men's work, you know, through the apostles and their elders before them. You know, so right now, you know, we're at the end of this thing, man. So it, you know, the Lord's made it quite easy for us compared to those men back then. You know, like Brother Bishop, they would have to go to the libraries, you know, look up certain things. Now we got it where we could just go online, you know, go to Google, put all the type of information you can get. And they're on front line with us. Really, technically, they they, 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 they on front line with us. You know what I mean? They didn't throw in the towel. They on the front line with us. So that 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 makes it that makes it even look bad for those that don't go up. Like this is my opinion. Like Johanna, Nate, all the lines, all those different issues like this. They don't go out anymore. They do the TV shows. They do the interviews. They do sit downs. And they're not on the streets anymore. The apostles and elders are still in the street. And a lot of them was dormant when this um, so-called outbreak happened. They wasn't going out. There was a lot. There was a lot. Of, it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of camps that wasn't going out during that time. Who scared? <laughs> it says, "How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber." A little folded up the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as an armed man. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be impoverished, man. There's gonna be a famine in a word. You're gonna, you're gonna wish you did it more when that time comes. It's gonna be too late. You know, the spiritual bank account is gonna be on the Yeah, the spiritual bank account declined. You know what I mean? You're gonna have a deficit. You're gonna be in the red. Negative. You're gonna be in the red. Your spiritual bank account gonna be in the red. Overdraft. <laughs> this is uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter twenty verse four. The slugger will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore, shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Yeah, you're going to beg and harvest. Harvest is the end of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's too cold to go out. Oh, we the snow, snow dummies, dummies, winter dummies. Yeah, we fools for Yahweh Shai sake. That's the right. most high sake. That's so, right. yeah, all right, we, we're going to be that. I be, we be that. You know what I mean? You keep calling us winter dummies. Right. Because, um... That's bad. You're supposed to be a leader. Right. And you want doors high, yo. Know? Tell tucked between your legs. So, so, like, you like, what's the name? You know, when you look at Roman history, right? When you look at Roman history, right? Everybody was saying God is was high in his intent while the cripple was putting that work there. So, you know what I mean? Because they was taking the position after Caesar got killed, you know what I mean? It was a 20-year civil war. You know, and you know, Caesar, he adopted him as heir. He adopted Gaius, Augustus, as heir. So a lot of people were, unless this was saying he was sick, some people said he was just hiding in the tent because he was scared to go out and fight. These people do scared to go out and do the work because it's too cold, it's too hot. So the Lord got on that cross. He got the nail put through his hand, dehydrated. Might have been hot. Lifted up his body weight, messing up his breathing for those hours on the cross. So you talking about a couple of hours or whatever, or it's too hot going outside? What are you, a damn woman? It's the in-season and out-of-season. Yeah, man. So, like, yo, you got people that want to know the truth in the winter. You got people that's looking for the truth, walking around, thinking, like, yo, what does it mean in the life out here? Walking in the street, like, yo. 
You know what I mean? Like, yo, this, this, this is life is hard. And they, and they need that comfort, they need the word. And you're not there because where you could have been at, that person that walked when your ass is in the house. Or wherever you at, walk. See? Because you, you're selfish and you're slugging. And you're going to ask the Lord to deliver your ass when there's a famine or the word of the famine or to de deliver your, your family. So the Lord supposed to put everything on hold to help your ass. That's the bulk of your time. That's the bulk of your time. You don't have that much, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm late. You don't got that many hours in a day. It was 24 hours, right? So you got to get a little sleep. You're working or whatever. You got to study. You got to do the, 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 the Lord's work. So you don't have all that much time. It takes a lot of time for investment-wise. You know what I mean? I, I study a little and stuff from now and then from that, but my majority of the time ain't, ain't on that. You know, and then if I do watch TV, it might have been an hour or, 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 out of a day or less. You know what I mean? You know? So, it ain't enough, and then time is moving so fast, you can't keep your majority now. Those that's, that's highly successful, or whatever, they put in the majority. The, I said majority. The majority of their time is wasted away for for making that money. They come with a toll. Yeah, you got them um, um high. Uh, what you call it, high level man? What's it called? Alpha male. Them, them dudes. Yeah, but that come with a price. They gotta um do a lot of study in the, into that. And let's say they don't do a lot of study now. They did a lot of study to get to that level. And they sacrifice. They sacrifice hours out of it for years. Even if it's a young dude in his 20s, he might have sacrificed five years. Now I'm repetitive. Cut everybody off to do that. Well, that's what the men of the Lord did for this truth. So the majority of the time, like the brother read the scripture, it, 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 eat away the flesh, man. Okay. Okay. So Psalm 31 and 1. Watch it for riches, consume it for flesh. Nothing does consume the flesh, but you got to put your all into that. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. You got to study the material, retain it, go back into the books like a lawyer, a doctor, and then execute. Watching for riches consumeth the flesh, uh -huh. and the care thereof driveth away sleep. Driveth sleep. Because you you gonna you gonna you gonna be in a you gonna be in an hour, you gonna be in the night. All through the night, studying. Retain that information. Back testing. Verse 2, it says, Watch your care, will not let it be. Because man not, only, not only that you got to do all of that, you also got to have your psychology right. So you got to, um, what's it called, um, take your emotion away from the money. That's another thing, too. You got to be numb to the to, to a loss. Or, um, or knowing when to get out and get in, or whatever. That, that's the psychology part. That's 80%. The psychology, 20 is technical, fundamental, fundamental. You got it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Psalm 31, verse 2 says, Watching care will not let a man slumber, 
has a sore disease, break and sleep. I brought this up. I brought this up because uh, it says watching care will not let a man slumber. So the Yahweh Ash Prashai the prophets are as watchmen yeah. in the ancient times. Watchmen were uh, stationed on uh, on uh, Yep. to see any incoming danger and to blow a particular horn trumpet to uh, inform or, or warn the people of what's to come. So we as watchmen, okay, we're watching current events around the world, the news, we're blowing the trumpet, and, okay, we're letting our people know, okay, what's coming. Civil war is coming to this country. You're seeing protests uh, overseas in, uh, Okay, and then uh, these are uh, in Venezuela, exactly. You go, and okay, it says, watching care take the way sleep. So, okay, uh, as the scripture says, man, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. There is no time for enemy and we can come here. One who recognizes himself as a prophet of Yahweh, watch my eyes. Instant in season on autopilot, like yo, you gotta go out, you gotta go out, and do the work. You know what I mean? Instant in season, now in season. There's no time, there's no time, there's no tomorrow. You gotta think about it's no tomorrow. You don't know when the Lord is gonna return when you're gonna speed things up. Because things can could, things could kick off like that. You know what I mean? It don't take that many days for a famine to happen, for starvation to happen, or for a person to become cannibal. For a major outbreak to where people start dropping. And then once they make that mark mandatory, things are, the law is, 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 is moments away, man. They showed you that 19 CP. It went crazy for fucking toilet paper. Toilet paper. They went clock wild. I put a can goods Water. They went up down for talking. These people are done. They threw, man. They're not, they, they're not gonna survive. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are just really off themselves. Yeah. Cause they they're not gonna be able to cope. Yeah. And they got their anti-depression medication medications. They they can't cope. They haven't been studying, they haven't been prepping, they haven't been praying, they haven't been prepping. They ain't got their liquor, they ain't got their weed, they ain't got their ecstasy. They gonna lose their fucking minds. Because they ain't expecting these things to happen. And the scripture said the Lord's coming as a thief in the night. Not only the not, not only the day of the Lord, but the plagues. The plagues are gonna come to be expected. They're gonna people are gonna be hunting other people to eat. The scripture mentioned that um Food. They can take, they can take whatever food that they got. 
You think they don't got, um, these soldiers don't got, um, the more fallout shelters? I was watching, I forgot the name of the show there, I can't even mention it, but you have one dude, he prepared, yo, but, but he prepared, he built this crib up, safe, he had, he had a safety, um, fallout shit, generators and all that, food and all that. He was like, yeah, you knew all the motherfuckers ain't gonna get me. You know what I mean? But they didn't get him. They didn't get him. But, but he had that shit prepared. But a lot of people gonna get caught up in them things, man. He so got the shit back to scan through, through buildings. Big, big brother. The second is yeah. 16 and 39. Even so shall not the plagues be slack that come upon the earth. Plagues ain't gonna be slack, they gonna happen. That's why it's no like there's no tomorrow. Like a person feel like yo, man, I I I I I go out the next time for a person that's not doing the work. There might not be no next time, man. Huh? You know what I mean? You might you might have just you might have just lost your last lifeline by not going out at that time, man. Right? You know, like, well, it was set up to be that way, but it just played out. It's no tomorrow. And the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Sorrow gonna come upon us, and we're gonna be a point of no hope. All right, you good, you good, you good. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready for the battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. You're gonna have to be nomadic, moving from place to place. You know what I mean? And pray that our fight be not in the winter. Esau comes during Esau. Esau moves on people during um during uh, like harsh times, early in the morning. I mean not harsh times, early in the morning. He catch you when it's raining real bad. A lot of people don't like to move in the rain. Me and my cousin used to talk about certain things. I know it's carnal. He like yo. If a person was trying to get their target at this time, it would be a perfect time in this brain, right here. Because people don't operate under different conditions. You know what I mean? Like, yo, they come up, they could come up early in the morning while you sleep. They come while these motherfuckers practicing these holidays. Keep coming and moving on. William Cooper said that. You know what I'm praying that your flight be in the winter, the winter time they can move for you. No blizzard, whatever. They trained in those conditions. The Lord got us out coming out of those conditions. That's why I said be in season. season. Honestly, we're going to be like pilgrims. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. Like he fleeth, so you don't got time to be, yo, oh, got to be a five possessions or whatever. You're going to have to leave that. Take whatever little cup, little bottle of water you got. Get it moving. You ain't packing on PlayStation. Yeah, no Xbox. Be the moving TVs. Not even a moving cube, man. Leave the checkerboard. You don't got time for this shit. It says, he that um, selleth, let him be as he that fear for weight. He that buyeth as one that will lose. Yeah, so basically you gotta leave all that behind. You gotta leave all that behind, man. You can't, you can't, like I was watching the, the, the remember the movie um, Titanic, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio? Because that's the, um, that's the third one they made, actually. That one with Leonardo DiCaprio. They're getting people on the lifeboats, and this this rich bitch, she's like, no, I gotta go back, I left something in my room, and they just grab their ass on her and, and just push on her, put her on the boat. But yeah, you have stupid people that be like that, man. It says, he that sell, um, 
He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it. Yeah, so basically, that's worthless now, man. Forget all that. Don't try to make the, 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 the next sell. Don't try to hoard that somewhere. There ain't time for that. You got to be on the move. Yeah, you got a business. Yeah, you got to be on the move. Yeah, all right, let me stash this on your hard disk. No. You just racked up. <laughs> they looking for people. They looking for people that's tying up loose ends. Um, you know, you trusting in your assets. Yeah, hey, don't you think the soldiers got that on plan? Like, yo, we know he gonna he hoarding this. Or he gonna go to this safe spot to go to this stash house. So we gonna catch him right there. Right there, there. Yeah, you know you got family that's gonna sell you out. Oh yeah, they gonna tell us. Yeah, he was he for this. Yeah, your enemies are your own household. Certain camps that don't agree with what we doing. Oh yeah, sell out. Them too. It says. He that occupies merchandise, as he that hath no profit by it, and he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. Yeah, get your business to work and all that, that's done. Avoid. You gotta abandon that property. Get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> he that soweth, as if he shall not reap. Uh -huh. So also he that planteth the vineyard, as he that shall not gather the grapes. Leave all your possessions, man. The Lord said, flee. Look what happened um, when it was 70 AD. The Lord said, when you see Jerusalem, you got some armies fleeing to the mountains. You know, Vespasian was a warrior. Titus, warrior. Domitian, politician. You know, um, that's why um, Vespasian was like, yo, I want Titus, it's going to take a military faction, you want Titus to, um, to, to like, to be the heir, to um, be Caesar. Domitian, he was smart, but he needed a soldier. They had enemies. Yo, they, they, moved, they moved in on us harshly. Man. And they took a lot of wealth, man. I'm telling you, they showed good for their treasury on that joint. Those about to die, they give up their treasury. Yeah, they took a lot of wealth, man. 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 Yeah, was trying to cut that nigga throat on sight. It was killed on sight. Was trying to kill Titus. I mean Domitian. Domitian mainly, mainly, cause he was always out with his proud ass. But gladiators try to kill this nigga. They don't really talk about. It. They show that in the, in the series. Those about to die. It's on. Um, it's on. Um, Peacock. But I watch it on GoMovies.ss. So it says, <laughs> they that marry, they that marry, as they that shall get no children. Yeah, so basically, um, yo, man, you ain't in a time of family, man. So basically, you telling, yo, your family, yo, y'all got a role, we got a role. And they, 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 they don't want to get with the program, all right, see you. See you. Vultures gotta eat too. It says, they that marry as they that shall not get, get no children. Yeah, man, so family time is gonna be a time where that family time is out of the question. They that marry not as the widowers. Yeah. So, you know, so the, the Lord is preparing us in this day because you got brothers. You know, we got, we got family members we losing, but the Lord getting them out of the way, so lightening the load. So we, we got to worry about less people if you do have that, like, spirit on you. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, the Lord going to make a way, and the Lord knows what you're capable of and what you're not capable of. But, you know, we in, we, we in, we in a time of war. And therefore, 
they that labor, labor in vain. Yeah, the those that's laboring and doing whatever the cares of the world is of it's a no profit. Because we know when there's, oh, when, there's, when there's times of serious matters, there's an increase in the height and of um, bread and services, TV shows and events. This to keep the people <coughs> distracted. Or you might have an influx of work opportunities. Those are distractions to a You're just overworking and can't do the work. Those are those they, they want you busy, 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 or entertain. Busy, 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 or entertain. Yeah. It says, For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods. That's right, you're going to have these, you're going to have people, um, they're not going to, um, they're going to be a sedition among men. They're not regarding authority. They're going to be robbing, killing. It says, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods. That doomsday preppers gonna lose their stuff to robbers, to soldiers, man. They might not be able to get into that safe house, man. Because when it's all chaotic, you know how the bridges, things shut off, tongues shut off, and then you gonna have people all clustered in one place trying to get to another place. You gonna have people blocking off other people just from the panic. We're going to start maniac in the cities. Yes. We're going to start in the cities and we're going to get you out in the Lord's uh, Supper. They show you that in that, old, that movie, Leave the World Behind. Yeah. You know? It says, For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, spoil their overthrow goods. their houses, and take their children's captive. People are going to be thrown out of their comfort, out of, out of, their, out of their place, and ravish. Things of that, of that nature. Who gonna stop them? I'm show you that in the movie The Road. The Road, there's people being seen and raped. It's sad. And they shall take their children captives, for in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery. Yeah, so you gonna have, you're gonna have robber, a robbery going on. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like a, a, a another in their purge, like the movie series. You know what I mean? It says, and they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons. Be, this is going to be removed, it's going to be taken. You got people bragging about what they what they have. You got some people that's, that, that got guns and making bullets. Well, to a certain degree, now the opposition know what you got or what you capable of, well, so they're going to go at you on another route. Because they already know you trained, so they got to go another route to get to you. You fucked up by even showing what, what you have of showing how protected you are. It was a, it was a vain. You just show, you just, because what if you got another, um, what if you got another, per, what if you got a military dude that's trained? You got people that they do again, it's a thing called vice in the pie, how you move a certain way with your weapon. So you can, um, you can get a, a scope of the enemy that got a gun, or whatever, or how to, um, Combat somebody if you got if you against two other people and the two other people shooting at you. You know what I mean? I had a maneuver with that. They call it fights in the pop. You got it. A lot of these dumb niggas on Instagram people doing themselves on Instagram. They can't drop all the time. All the time. Yo, that shows you got low self-esteem, insecure. You insecure if you got to brag and show what you have. People that really got it, they don't show it. They 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 dumb they they dumb their wealth down. You know they live like they don't have it. And then the flex, you 
won't even know the flex. You might have a five hundred dollar t-shirt on, a watch that you don't know that's fifty, sixty, seven million dollars, and you won't know because it don't have diamonds and shit on it like that. That's the one about about he knows about certain high end things. Uh, Matthew chapter 6. And I'm going to start at verse 31. It says, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Yeah, the animals don't do that. You, know, don't, you gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. You gotta have a little things from here and there, but you know, you're not, you're not, you're not getting nowhere without faith. Or oh, with all. Shall we be clothed? Yes, because um, that because the Lord the, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshua don't like when you don't have faith, man. But after all these things, do the Gentiles seek? For your heavenly Father knoweth that He has need of all these things. Lord knows. The Lord knows. The Lord knows what we need. We pray for what we, we pray for what we need, and then we go about our day. Says, verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on. So we're supposed to seek the kingdom of the Lord, man, right? and our spiritual bank account and do this work, and all those yeah. things are, are be added. There's no freebies, man. There's no handouts. <laughs> it, it, it is, it, it, you gotta put the work in. That's how it is. You get the reward. That's what makes it more valuable. It says, take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Tomorrow take thought for the things of itself. You don't know if you're going to make it through the night. You don't know. So, Lord will. We don't, we don't know. Next week in this night. You can't be planning for things like that. I, I, a lot of times I tell people like, yo, I, I, I gotta make it through, I gotta make it through this other part of the day. Who well, no. knows? Sufficient, sufficient on to today. Yeah, yeah, we're worrying about, we're worrying about today, man. What you want to do with the chicken? What you want to do with the man? What you want to do with Protect myself. I can't, we can't protect ourselves. 
What a, what a, no? What that, that place you might like cave in, you can't get out of it. This is why we say, like, yo, oh, whoa, these dudes are just prepping. They, they're prepping. Pretty, pretty much they put a target on them. I'm over here. Come get me. Got it. Uh, this is uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost, and yet I was shy. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Yeah, I was shy of my shy. Yeah, we can, lose, we can lose everything of this carnal, of carnally to gain the kingdom. You know what I mean? All right, you win it. All right, we're taking a short-term L for the bigger prize, you know what I mean? To the world, it looks like yeah, we're losers or whatever. We don't care about the world, the world thinks, man. The majority are always wrong. The majority are always going to lose an end. It's always been the case. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb that I may win and get out of shot. Well, everything else is shit in this world, but the games of the kingdom. And how about you know what's out? I just like you know what I mean? We don't care if the best women don't like our parents or whatever. Because we don't shape our shit up or whatever. We, yo, we, 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 we on that. So well, oh, oh, fuck, fuck it, oh, what's that, what's the thing? Bye. Bye. I always say to myself, you know, with that to this world, from John 215, love not the world, I the things to the end yeah. of the world. If any man of the world, the love the Father not in me. Yeah. So when we've been blessed with the Spirit of God watching our time, the Lord has suffered with men, he has blessed his man with our this world is truly about. Look at this sacrificing to uh, singing devils to obtain riches. Okay? It's all vanity, man, as uh, Solomon said. This is uh, Colossians 3 and 1. If ye then be risen with the Mashiach, our Lord, seek those things which are above. You know, we're seeking what's above, the kingdom. You know, Kingdom, we know, we know it's going, it's near, and we can't, uh, uh, we can't, we can only imagine how it's going to be, or, or, and our imagination is on the low end. Yeah. How about you, my shy? You know, Philippians, I believe. You know, the, 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 the earth is going to mirror the spiritual realm. The earth is going to mirror the spiritual realm. All the other planets we inhabit is going to mirror the spiritual realm. And, it's, and Paul said that it's, um, it's unlawful for him to speak, meaning he couldn't explain everything that was there. Yeah. The colors are more, the colors is like one dude he passed, he so called passed, something happened with an operation. He, and he went to the, he went to the spiritual realm. He saw the angels. He saw all of he saw the colors. It was like the, it was more like more lively. The colors is everything here. He said was dark. He was trying to compare the colors. And he was like, yo, it's like a, a high end TV, 4K or whatever. It was like the colors of you know. That's something you would see on a monitor, but even better. But everything here is dark. We had an idea of that. We want to make it into the box, some chariots. You know what I mean? Here, man. Uh, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the 
Gave him that spirit. Because why? Because he's King David. 
course he's Jacob. All right? By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. Yeah, just for, um, just for instant gratification in the now, he was thinking of the kingdom. He was thinking of serving the Lord. And for me and his people. All right? That, that's integrity. In the men in the, in the men of the Lord, in the truth, Lord willing, we the men of the Lord. We're doing the same thing. We start with our apostles, man. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't compromise us or pay us off. You know what I mean? You, that, that ain't gonna happen with us. And Lord willing, I say that because I don't have any might, but uh, up to up, it's up to me. Hell no. But it ain't it ain't it ain't up to us. We always gotta say, Lord will. Because I because then I, I I'll be proud, but nah, you can't compromise us with fucking fiat of money. You can keep your money. You can take that money and shove it up your ass, yo. That's right. We don't want your fucking money, yo. That's right. You cannot, you, you can't buy us off. You can't bribe us, man. You want your blood. And we know those has been compromised. Because why? Because they 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 um yo. We got more time. Build a family. Generation wealth. The RFID microchip is not this. It's not that. So, uh, so yeah, because no one's that fucking stupid. You know what I mean? You can't be that dumb. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 14 says, Wherefore, Hear the word of the Lord, the scornful men that rule this people, which is in Jerusalem, uh -huh. because he has said, We have made a covenant with death. They made a covenant with death, man. They done sold out, they done took the bag, they're not preaching of the Lord's word. So basically, you made a covenant with death. You just as worse as a Mason. All them are so called illuminated ones. Because you done took the truth and you done twisted it. For money and a gather more zombies in. Because we all we all know the world, they look at the outward appearance of what someone has and they equate that for wealth or success or wisdom. It says, We have made a covenant with death and with hell or we had agreement. Yeah, yeah. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. It shall not come from us. It's not gonna come upon the men of the Lord, man. It's gonna catch you. It's gonna catch you. It's gonna catch you in the world. You people in the world, man. You know, cause you, 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 you got your reward. So now you gotta suffer. The men of the Lord are suffering now. We're not gonna suffer too long. It's now. It's gonna be time for you to sell out, motherfuckers, to suffer, man. It's gonna be a shift. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, but we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Yeah, you made lies your refuge, man. You um you basically you done sold out, you was wicked. Alright? That's it. That's what you mean. Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11 and 3. It says, The integrity of the upright shall guide them. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. And you have the integrity. What makes you, I uh, give you integrity. Yahweh Shem Yahweh this land, the scriptures, and the laws. So basically, you can't be, you can't be, um, boy, you can't be seduced by women or money. You're going to be immovable because your foundation is not on sin. During the hour of temptation, being blessed with his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this word, uh -huh. we 
being forewarned not to take that uh, device. Esau is going to come with it with. He's going to come with that ultimatum, okay? Take this device in order to eat, in order to keep your job. The mirroring the same uh, 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 scheme, plot that he used during uh, 2020, man. You know how so, somebody does a, a wicked ritual? Our righteous rituals, we keep on reading the scriptures and not getting the RFID microchip. It's like it's like spiritually being bored, bored until nailed into our heads. Don't get the chip. Like constantly, constantly, constantly. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Day in and day out. So it, this rehearsal is a, to the point where Lord willing at that time, it might be, it might, it might be real easy, Lord willing, like it. Oh, nah. You already know what this is. We're all about to return. Fuck you. Do what you got to do. I'm not, we're not taking it. Chris, we got faith to stand bold in the face of our enemies, man. Christmas yeah. Psalm in the 5th chapter, as well as our forefathers. And that and their stance that they took in the face of this devil, the so-called white man. Okay? He's pretty much going to tell you, worship me. Take this device, worship me, and forsake your God, man. Yeah, because of those miracles, it's technology and it's weaponry. Love and they're they going and, the, and that's just, when they do it, that's going to tick the most high off for y'all watching y'all shy off because you you saying that they 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 on the same level or higher than the most high. That you you gonna fear you gonna fear these mortals more than the most high. So I got got you. Got you. Now you gonna you gonna be incinerated with these missiles. Cause that's the the ultimate judgment for getting that. It says the integrity. The, the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Yeah. So you gonna have people telling other people. You know, man, save yourselves. Well, why are you not getting that, that chip? You, you look, you gotta save yourself. There's no one coming to save you. Because to them, it's gonna look like there is no hope. Because they haven't been rehearsing the righteous acts. They haven't been prepping. They haven't been watching for the Lord to return. So they don't know what's what. They're confused in the darkness. And they're gonna die. Because they're gonna be they're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be burning in the presence of the Lord and the, and the, and the, and the, and the angels and the elect. Esau, Edom, he's pretty much fattened them up in his time with those bread and circuses that we spoke about earlier. Man. So that's what these people, their, their minds are, are fixated on those things. You know, the Olympics, uh, 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 American Idol, what are, you know, what? Uh, okay, Esau has these people. Minds blinded. Okay, that's why they're not uh, talking about, okay, Iran retaliated against Israel and all these uh, World War III talks, nuclear missile talks, you know, okay? It's, okay? So, this is going on. They're making them feel safe. They're making them feel safe. Like, remember, um, remember that joint? They're making, they're, making them, they're making them feel safe. When they know it's in, what's it called? Impending danger is on its way here. It's in safe. It's in safe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, with that, we like to give all praises to your house. Our ship. Our shop. Our ship. Our ship. Our Double honors to our apostles, our bishops. And honors to the Akim. That this is too far to sincerity. We get it, we go. Shalom. Thank you, thank you.